The U.S. team is starting to take shape with the President's Cup just five months away. The roster is filled with talented players that have proven they can win. It is Jordan Spieth, PGA Tour victory number two. Wow, that's a, just a wowzer finish. It's a young team that might lack international team competition, but makes up for it in confidence. And Patrick Reed has it! And when it comes to President's Cup experience, of the current top 10 in the team standings, nine players have a combined five career President's Cup appearances, whereas Jim Furyk alone has played in seven. That's a testament to Furyk's consistency throughout his 22-year career. From 2000 to 2010, he captured 12 wins and finished outside the top 20 in the season-long standings only once. And he was a key contributor to the U.S. dominance in the President's Cup in that span. In 2011, he helped lead another U.S. victory in Melbourne, Australia, hosting a perfect 5-0 record. The U.S. has now won four of the last five holes and he capped a decade of consistency with a career-defining moment. Jim Furyk finally has his Tour Championship. Jim Furyk ended the 2010 season in style. What followed was a four-year stretch that saw Furyk record 30 top tens, six runner-up finishes, post a single round 59, the PGA Tour's sixth in history, and a career first in 2014. It's the first time in my career that I actually went through an entire year without missing one cut. Despite the milestone, one thing was missing. Let's get it rolling. Jim, just too much speed. 2012, 2013, 2014 were all very good years. I think the glaring, you know, error, the glaring mistake, no win. But all of that changed in April at the RBC Heritage. Eight under for the day now, Jim Furyk. 63 it is. Exactly 100 starts since his last win. Furyk fired nine birdies in regulation during the final round. Furyk can't even watch. We're going to a playoff. Kevin Kisner's birdie on the final hole forced Furyk into a playoff for the first time since the 2012 Valspar Championship. After matching Kisner's birdie on the first playoff hole, Furyk moved to the second, looking to close the deal. He takes out young Kevin Kisner. Great stuff. Good to have you back, Jim Furyk. I played well, you know, I got off to a little bit of a shaky start, but the putter was hot, you know, knocking in a bunch of putts kind of solves a lot of, a lot of ailments. I had a lot of close calls where I didn't close the door and it was nice to get a win under my belt and play well down the stretch. And this October, Jim Furyk will be making his eighth start for Team USA. Only Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods and Ernie Els have played in more President's Cups.